Cal and I sat down on the weekend to make some dreams and goals and decide what we wanted to let go of from this past year that we just came through and some things that we wanted to press into in this new year of 2021. And one of the things that was on my little dream box was uh, yoga for kids. And the other day I was uh, cleaning out a drawer and I found my vision board from 2020 that I made at Megan Bornholt's house. And there was a picture on there of kids sitting in a circle and meditating. And that had been something that I wanted to bring to Alchemy Yoga last year. And obviously I wasn't able to do that very much because of the pandemic. Although I did run a, a workshop last November, Mindfully Back to School, that went really, really well. And so this year in 2021, it's back on my dream list of offering yoga to kids in the community in some capacity, in some way. My very first yoga teacher training was a kids training. I took a, a course with Yoga Kids International and I taught yoga for kids uh, to kids for probably about a year and a half before I went ahead and pursued my, my adult certifications. So it's, kids have always been what I've done. It's only just been these last few years since I stepped away from teaching uh, yoga to kids at the yoga studio that I haven't really had it as a, a regular part of my life of being involved in kids' lives and in kids' programming. I studied early childhood education in college and most of my jobs that I've had throughout my life have been um, with children and families. Um, and it, it's funny, I was thinking a while back that uh, there, there was a time, there was about a 10 year span of my, my life here in Cochrane where I, I worked for the town and I taught kids to do lots of different things in many different programs. And I, I got this name of Miss Jody. And a lot of people called me that. And uh, it's, a, it's a moniker that um, people aren't calling me Miss Jody quite as much as they used to. Maybe it's because I just had a bigger birthday, I'm not sure. But uh, I think it's also because um, I'm just not spending as much time in that, in that capacity with kids in that role anymore. And when I taught that workshop in November to the kids, uh, Mindfully Back to School workshop, something was reignited in me. Something got really excited. And something, even a little, maybe sadness, or um, just wondering, you know, how can I support kids right now? My gosh, if we're going through all of this as adults, you know, and, and we have our different coping strategies and, and we have our yoga practice, if, if it's part of our lifestyle to support us, then um, my gosh, I think kids, kids need this just as much as we do. They need to reclaim a sense of well-being just as much as us. And so it's been on my heart to um, just be on the lookout for how can I support kids and what can we do from the space of Alchemy Yoga that can provide that support. When Kyle and I first bought the yoga studio, I had so many ideas. Um, actually, I always have so many ideas, but that first year I was just full of ideas. There were so many things that I wanted to do. And one of the things that we pursued was um, we tried to get licensed before and after school care in Alchemy Yoga. So kids would come to us in the mornings at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and there would be some sort of yoga programming for them before they went to school. And then after school, there would be some activities that were yoga-based and lifestyle and wellness-based that was going to be a licensed program. And so we pursued that and we got the, the licensing was on board with us, but the building wasn't quite right. And there were some things within the building that we would have had to have done quite a few uh, renovations to the building to get the permit to offer that kind of uh, child, might, child care. And at that time, we just weren't able to pursue it. Um, and one thing about the, the pandemic of, of COVID happening is that in so many ways, we've been able to press reset and we've been able to um, sort of wipe the slate clean a little bit and to kind of decide for ourselves, like, what do I really want to do? You know, what are some things that we're able to do now that maybe we weren't before? And so that's just been on my mind these last few days of the, the brand new year of how can we support kids from our space? And right now, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking workshops on professional days and maybe offering camps in the summer, you know, when, when kids aren't involved in sports because what we know from, from the, our yoga world, our yoga business is that yoga is kind of that thing that's an extra for kids. 
It's something that if they have time after their sport, whatever they're involved in, um, then it's sort of the thing that gets tucked on to the end of the week if they have time. Um, and I, I really think that there's a, a richness and a depth to yoga that can be really beneficial for kids and their coping and, and just how they see themselves, how they see themselves within others. One of my favorite things to do is to sit in circles with youth and to just share and to connect. And I really miss that. So I just wanted to put it out there that I'm curious to know how we can support the youth of Cochrane and, and the little kids of Cochrane from our space whenever we can reopen, whenever that is. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you that it's one of my dreams for this year of 2021 is to find some new and innovative ways to uh, support the kids and families of the community of Cochrane.